this is Dave with NTI Online and today we're going to be going over replacing a pressure sensor on your uh, TX boiler. This will also apply to the uh, FTV product and some of the VMAX products. The process is basically the same. Uh, so you'll replace the pressure sensor because you've got a bad return temperature for example or the, the boiler is just not registering pressure the way it should. First thing you'll want to do is power down the appliance. Now we are going to be getting into the wet side of the heating system so you do need to drain the boiler of water and make sure that there's no pressure in there and that you've got as much water out as possible. It's also a good idea to be ready with a shop vac just in case there's some trapped water that, uh, that you weren't able to drain earlier. So we're going to open up the cabinet and this is one of the few jobs you can probably do without any specialized tools. So we've already drained this boiler so our pressure sensor on the combi model is down to the right here. If you have a heat only variant, it'll be on the rear return pipe up into the heat exchanger. So you want to pull out this little clip, pull the sensor out, disconnect the wires. Now what's happened here is the old uh, rubber o-ring and gasket has stayed inside there so we're just going to use the sensor to pull it out. And you want to make sure these do come out because in some cases they stay in there and you will not get the new sensor in with the old gasket. So now that we've removed this, uh, you're going to get a new one of these. Make sure that it says uh, RPS on there for pressure. If you don't see that, it may not fit. There is a flow sensor which looks virtually identical. Uh, it typically comes with a green O-ring gasket it will not fit in place of the pressure sensor uh, or if it does fit it won't work. So with the new one before you install this you want to wet the sensor itself the tip of the sensor and you want to put water inside the boot here. Uh, if you don't do that it will probably still work but it takes a while for the water to infiltrate the sensor and start reading. So we found that if you just wet it first it it works right away. Once you've got that wet push the rubber uh, boot back on push it in there, you'll feel it sort of click in place, grab your little horseshoe clip, snap it back on till it clicks, and just give this a good tug to make sure that it's firmly in place. At that point, plug it back in and refill your boiler with water. Hope that helps. If you have any problems, give us a call at TechSport 800-688-2575. Thanks for watching the video today. If you'd like to check out more videos, see the link below. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for all the future updates. And also check us out on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Instagram.